Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my room. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 different outfits for 10 different pieces on my rack. I basically just wanted to show you guys what I've been gravitating toward these days and kind of like how I would style the pieces and everything. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I wanted to ask that if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up for me to let me know that you want to watch these in the future so that I can film them. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. The first item on my rack is a Victorian top that's a simple yet lovely statement piece with its eyelet fabric and regal high neck. It's one of those pieces that's ideal to have for the summer months, not only for its airiness, but also because it's extremely versatile and can be worn with almost everything. This time, I went for a white on white look with a vintage pair of shorts and I popped on some frames to accessorize. On my rack, I also have an oversized cardigan since we are heading right into late summer territory and it's definitely something I pop on for the cooler summer nights. And lastly, to complete the look, I just put on a black coach bag. Vintage button-ups were also a go-to for me this summer because their interesting details always keep me having a little more fun while styling my everyday outfits. I love this one because of its back detailing, but for bottoms, I went for a pair of gingham shorts and again, these frames to keep the look smart. Throughout this video, you're going to notice I've been really digging dainty gold jewelry, so it's to no surprise that I've accessorized this look with it. And lastly, I wanted to add a pop of color to this otherwise monochromatic look with a faux leather mustard bag. For my second vintage top, I had this banana pudding yellow one that I've been trying not to wear almost every day. Honestly, I just can't help but be drawn to its eyelid collar and pocket detailing. I again paired it with these white vintage shorts which I think just help accent its very retro appeal. And the jewelry of choice for this look was gold and pearly. As you all could probably tell from watching my lookbooks and seeing my photos on Instagram, straw has been something I've been shamelessly using this summer and this outfit styling was no exception. Lightweight oversized tops are most definitely a must have for the summer. They make great bathing suit cover ups and are also a great way to layer for the hotter summer days. I've paired it with a tube top that's made of the soft jersey fabric and to refrain from keeping everything too simple, I paired it with my gingham shorts. I think this ensemble would be perfect for a busy day running errands or even a stroll at the beach, so pairing it with a tote would definitely make it a lot easier to pop in the necessities. In my opinion, a summer wardrobe would be nothing without a bodysuit, and I've got just the one to keep me feeling complete. It's off the shoulder and has this beautiful cascading neckline that makes me feel super feminine, but again, I paired it with my gingham shorts one last time. The neckline leaves me feeling pretty bare, so to fix that, I've styled it with this dainty layered necklace. And lastly, I also added in a dusty pink back just to give the look some color. This next top has made its way all over my Instagram and sit down chat videos, so of course it's also on my clothing rack. It's got these extremely puff sleeves and the wrap silhouette keeps it cinched at the waist without drowning my figure. The pants of choice for this look are these navy blue ones that help give the look even more movement and for an added accessory I put on my mustard bag which I think adds a nice accent to the navy blue. Intimates have proven to be great for both indoors and out so I've decided to give this floral cover up a try these days. I love its airy silhouette but for this look in particular I went casual by tucking it into these high waisted flare jeans. A layered necklace make my top half have a bit more of an effortless appeal, but to further enhance the effect, I picked my hair up into a loose bun. The eighth piece on my rack is a vintage floral dress that I thrifted a few months back and I've been loving it for dates or on the just because days where I want to just feel pretty. I let the piece speak for itself, so the accessories are very simple. I chucked on my straw hat and bag and called it a day. Cherries. That's basically all I have to say, but really it's an obsession of mine. I thrifted this one in my last haul and I've got to say, it's been a favorite. I love the embroidery against this dusty pink short sleeve jacket and I had no shame in styling it with my statement cherry pendant. For bottoms, I kept it classic in a pair of high-waisted mom jeans which also give it a nice comfort factor. And again, this straw bag did just the trick to finish it off. Last but certainly not least, we have some white denim. On my last trip to the thrift store, I was really set on finding some white Levi's, but instead I found this short sleeve jacket and ever since then, I've been styling it with my everyday looks. I paired it with this Gucci scarf dupe that I tied up into a top and for bottoms, these flares were my go-to. 
I wanted to accessorize with color, so here I've added a bright red beret and yellow shades. This look gives me early 2000 vibes, which is a look that I've definitely been going for to change things up these days, but that's it. That's everything that's on my rack. I'd love to know what's one piece in your closet you've been wearing every single day because let's face it, we all have one even if we don't like to admit it. Or you can just let me know what your favorite look of the video was because I always love hearing what you guys have to say. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day wherever you are and I will see y'all very soon. Bye! She flew across the sea